We are here in Hamburg with David Pryor from Bladnoch Distillery. David, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. Absolute pleasure. You just Lovely came, to be here. Uh, you just came from Scotland, didn't you? Yes. And you visited Bladnoch. How are things over there? Uh, we, were, we were there for a week. Mm. The distillery is looking absolutely beautiful, picture perfect. Um, it's, uh, we've been through a long process now of of renovating and restoring the distillery and uh, it's been painstakingly restored under my leadership and under Ian McMillan's guidance mm. uh, and of course we put in a brand new distilling operation um, which was a big process Forsyth did the whole kit from start to finish um, so we're making I think incredible quality um, new make uh, and the distilling the, the distillery itself just looks a, looks an absolute dream so I'm very excited. So what was the state of the distillery when you uh, bought it? Well, I'll tell you a funny story. When I first took my wife to visit Bladnock, uh, we walked through and, and of course, I'd just sold another business and I uh, looked at her face and I thought, she looks like she's going to cry. So I said, Sally, what's wrong? She said, there's so much work to be done. It looks so terrible. <laughs> but of course, I saw so much opportunity with that 200-year-old distillery, just a magnificent location, so much history, um, such a huge site, 11 warehouses. Um, so there was a lot of work to be done, of course, an enormous amount of work. Mm -hmm. When I bought it, the people selling it, Ernst & Young, they told me, oh, the equipment is good, it works. Nothing worked, of course, you know. So when Ian went in, he said, look, I'm, we have to start brand new. So I said, let's do it. We started from scratch, every single thing. You know, from grain receival through to, you know, washbacks through to, um, the, obviously, the stills. Every single thing is new. So mm. we spent five million pounds to upgrade. But now we've got the best of both worlds because we have a, you know, bluestone buildings, 200-year-old facility with a state-of-the-art manufacturing. We're very lucky. Mm. And what about the stocks you found there? Was so the it, stocks, of course, is, is interesting because, first of all, as you would know, there, there was no distilling for a period of eight years. So we have a gap that we have to very, very, I think, innovatively try and solve that problem over the next few years, which I think we will. Yeah. Um, but the stocks are thankfully very good quality liquids, a lot of which we recasked and regaged under Ian um, to release. You know, I didn't want to release a Bladnock that was just the same as the previous Bladnock. Mm. I wanted it to be our Bladnock. So a lot of it, in fact, most of it was recasked to give us the expressions that we have today. Um, and I think I've got to say great credit to Ian that the expressions that we've released have been fantastic. Uh, you know, we've won a lot of awards and a lot of medals and things so to, to sort of testify to that. Um, but I'm very happy with the quality, of course, of our new liquid, but even of the liquid that we recasked. And where do you want to take Bladnock to? For me, um, actually, I, I want to see Bladnock better than it ever was you know it's um, it's had a it's had a, a period the first hundred years very stable one family but it's had a checkered history since then it's been owned by a number of different people I'd like to see Bladnock have a continuity of ownership under me of course um, I'd like to see it continue to make great whiskies win a lot of awards and I'd like to see it be play its part in reintroducing lowland whiskey because I think the lowlands was an incredible region of Scotland um, which has really fallen off the radar. And of course, Highland, Speyside and Islay, they're all so strong. But Lowlands is a beautiful whiskey. It's lighter, it's floral, and a lot of consumers, I believe, like that style of... They try like a very peaty whiskey and they say, I can't stand whiskey. But you try a lady from the Lowland and it's a different experience. So I want to see Bladnock at the forefront of Lowlands whiskey, re reintroducing it to the world. Okay, so your your main market will it be in, in, in UK? Will it be Europe or will it be the Australia? Sure, we've, uh, we've we're in about 25 countries at the moment, but we've got five key markets we're working you know really working on: Australia, my home base; the US, just a key market; France, again a big big whiskey market and a market where we've got a great partner in; Germany, got a great partner here and we believe a very strong market; and China. Mm. China's just to us great opportunity. We've got a great partner. I've just come from Beijing. Um, some really exciting things going on in terms of consumers really loving the whole whiskey journey. Great whiskey bars. So China's a market we're very excited about. 
David, thank you for your time and we are looking forward to tasting your Bladnock whiskey. Dankeschön, absolute thank pleasure. Thank you.